top of the morning, Jamaica. Welcome back to Poetry and Police. You know, on this channel, still, we don't support no form of corruption. You know? And we don't support any form of criminal criminality, no matter how big or small. Because, like sin, I believe that every crime have to carry the same weight. You understand? But we all know that Jamaica is suffering from a corruption problem and not a criminal problem and not a crime problem per se. You understand me? And <clears throat> everybody in a Jamaica, well, the good people, let me talk about the good people in a Jamaica, then, the good people in Jamaica then, will want to see Jamaica a better place. But how do you define good people in Jamaica? You know what I mean? That is the thing, you know. Who are the good people in Jamaica? You understand? Who are the good people in Jamaica? The last time I checked, you know, good people believe in law and order. Good people believe in, a, in their civic duty. And when I say civic duty is report crimes to police. Pay attention to what is going on in their community. Not just themselves. No, no form of selfishness. That's what we call patriotic people. People who have concerns about their country and concerns about the criminal activities that are, that are going on in their country. And right now in Jamaica, how much, how much percentage of Jamaica do you think are people like those? How much? Probably 40% or 30%. So, what are we looking at now if you look at that status? The good or the bad then outweighs the good. So, so, can we ever balance this thing? Can we ever balance this thing? You see, most people are saying that they, they are being failed by politicians. And they are being failed by the Jamaica Constabulary Force. Or they say police, the police department. Most people say they are failed by that. And most people have lost confidence in our political system. And most people have lost confidence in our police. Right. So how do we bring back that in Jamaica now? How do we bring back that in Jamaica? Now, before, any, before I go any further, as an experienced policeman, as a man who have served my country, who have bled for my country, as a man who have put my life in the, in the line of gunfire, who have put my life in the line of danger to save my fellow citizens of Jamaica. A man who, 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 who has nearly died to save the life of, of citizens of Jamaica on more than one occasion. A man who have been out there. A man who have seen the atrocities of Jamaican criminals. A man who have seen a man who have seen the, 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 the gruesomeness of Jamaican criminals. A man who have witnessed murder scenes that you cannot even begin to talk about. A man who have seen murder scenes that when you go home is still on your mind. A man who have experienced the level of, of criminality in Jamaica. A man who has experienced the level of the, the seriousness of the Jamaican criminals. A man who's a patriot to his country, a man who fight for the for the, the lawful citizens in Jamaica, the good law-abiding citizens in Jamaica. I would consider myself that kind of man. No. Whenever I do my videos, you know, I always tell you people, you know, that when I talk, I talk facts. I don't talk here, you say. I'm in a quick for jump up and chat with people call me and tell me, say, right? Everything I talk, if I talk about a corrupted police, I talk about that corrupt police because his actions affected me when he was doing his corruption. That is how I talk. I, just, I don't just come and tell lies on people. I refrain from doing that. And when I come and tell my story, it is my story and it is my truth. I am not saying everybody is going to believe what I am saying because you always have village liars. No, people, let's talk about these village liars. 
What is the purpose of a village lawyer? A village lawyer is never up to nothing good yet. A village lawyer is always a person who pretends that he's on the side of the, the good citizens, but working for the criminals in the background. No, Jamaican people, what you need to do, you need to, be, you need to open your eyes and your ears and you need to look out for these village lawyers. Because now they are on the internet, they are bloggers too, and they are pretending to be on the side of law and order. And they seek nothing, nothing less than to destroy men like Christopher Porter, which who runs the young Jamaica Young Police Channel, and even myself and other police officers. Because let me tell you something, people. Nothing is ever one-sided. Nothing is ever one-sided. No, if you are going to just believe one side of a story, then you, I guess you're not a good judge of character. And I guess you're not a good judge at all. Well, listen to these people. The Jamaican criminal, because that is what we are here to talk about, you know. How crime is affecting Jamaica? And how can we solve the crime in Jamaica? How can we slow down the crime rate in Jamaica? That is what my channel is for, you know. And to expose some of our corrupt police officers. Because let me tell you something, like I've said to you before, most of our corrupt police officers are the leaders. Most of the corrupt organization in Jamaica stems from the leaders. And the police department in Jamaica is not just the, the only corrupt organization. The nursing fraternity, the teaching fraternity, politicians, bankers, every one of these societies have corruption. That make police department the worst of it? You see, the thing is, people, people always seem to believe that policemen are not human. We don't feel, we don't have families, we don't have friends, and that we should be 100% perfect. That is what people believe, that a policeman should be perfect. But if you did not know this before, nobody is perfect. A policeman is a human being like any other man. And so therefore, he can be imperfect. So stop expecting a policeman to be perfect because nobody is perfect. No, who is a Jamaican criminal? What is a Jamaican criminal's resolve? Eh? Get rich, kill and destroy, without remorse or care. That is a Jamaican criminal. The Jamaican criminal is the most violent criminal on the planet next to the Colombian cartels. I'm telling you that. The Jamaican criminals is the Pablo Escobar of the world. Let me tell you that. Right. Back in the day, we all know, the criminals back in the day used to have some kind of respect for law and order. The criminals back in the day used to have some respect for old people and, and children. And women and children. Look around you nowadays. These criminals nowadays are so violent that they, they do not care about women and children. They do not have any respect. They do not care who get murdered in their sweep. As long as they're getting the person that they want to kill. Because it's all about the hype. It's all about making a name. It's all about making doppies. Take a boy three points. That is the Jamaican criminal nowadays. A show off thing. An internet thing. Everybody a show off for them can up on internet and show guns and all of that. Jamaica needs patriots. And everybody... I follow people on, on, on social media. People who are pretending that they care about the Jamaican people. People are acting like they are, they are ghetto gods. Gone in the wind. The last time I checked, wind is uncontrollable. Wind respects no one. Wind can get violent. Wind will destroy your house. Your agricultural produces. Wind can take your life. If you don't be careful of wind. Alright? Now, 
Let me tell you something, people. Say it to you over and over again. I speak my truth. And what Jamaica need now, most of all, is the input of every single Jamaican. You see, Jamaican people, as a people, we all need justice. But what is our justice? Who are the real victims in Jamaica? You see, everybody come and talk about their victims. Look at the people who come and talk about their victims. These people who are coming and claiming that they are victims most of the time in Jamaica are the families of gunmen, the families of murderers, the families of rapists. And when they are killed by the police, they come and seek justice, talking about their victims. When all along, you knew that your brother was a killer, a robber, a thief, a rapist. You knew that your, your brother was a charlatan. You knew that your brother was nobody good. He was ungodly. You knew that your brother, your brother was a violent criminal. But yet, you take part in the proceeds of his crime. And you did not report it to the police. And when the police take him out, you're calm now and you start to play a victim card. You see, people, the real victims in Jamaica are the people who have been murdered innocently by these gunmen. The real victims in Jamaica are the ones in the ghetto who can't move out and they, these men come and take your daughter from their 11 year old and you can't say nothing. Those are the victims. The victims are the mothers who have lost their children with all of these gang violence going on in Jamaica for no reason at all. The victims are the people who you can't catch quack or you catch them shot. Mother have three sons to a gunman. But them choose to kill the one we are going to university. That's a victim. The only victims in Jamaica are the victims of rape and the victims of, a victim, big victim of, of robbery and extortion. Those are the only victims in Jamaica. The family of gunmen are not victims. Because guess what? Most of the time, they knew what their family was doing. And all of a sudden, they come and claim that he's innocent. Innocent where? And the worst part of it, most of the people in the, in the communities know. They know this. You see, you see what is going on in Jamaica now? You, know? you lionize a man because he goes out and rob and him can give you a night dinner. That is how licky licky Jamaican people are. That is how licky licky our society is. Politician comes in and buy one crate of beer. Everybody vote for him. You don't care about his policies. And then you turn around and call yourself victims. Victims of what? Do not blame police. Do not blame criminals. And do not blame politicians for your, for your worthlessness. Blame yourself. Do not blame them for the life that you are living. Blame yourself. That is how Jamaican people are. The most wicked people in Jamaica always claim victim. Always claim victim. As a policeman, I have seen victim of gruesome crimes. Mothers bawling. As a policeman, tear come to your eyes. You see how them deal with our son. But then again, some of these sons were involved in the gangs. So they, it was gang warfare. But the ones, as a detective, you know who are involved in gangs in the area. So you know when an innocent get knocked down. And that is when your heart bleeds. You know that man is innocent. Tom Strauss get licked down down the road and go, oh, you know that, you know a charlatan that. You know him involved in the gang. You know him a robber, him a thief. I'm friend him just get rid of him now. <clears throat> but a nice, decent young man in the community who's going to university and on his way to school and he's murdered on the street because he's, he's, from, he's from the top of the lane and the bottom of the lane and the, and, the, and, the, and the top of the lane is in war and they choose to murder the one little light that was shining in the community. Bad mind. You understand? Bad mind. Most of these criminals are bad mind. They don't want to see anybody uplift themselves from the community. That is the modern criminal. They want everybody to join their cause. And if you don't join their cause, then you're against them. You're an informer. So Jamaica run. Let me tell you something, people. Nobody, no blagger, 
no bag blagger. You could have floated with the water, you could be gone with the wind. Can't tell me nothing. And can't come talk nothing about me. You can't talk about you have no file for me because there's no I I don't have a file. You understand? I don't have a file. You believe everything that you hear. I was told once. That believe half of what you hear and half of what you see. You are to remember this. That people give information for for various reasons. People give information because, because they, they, when they give the information, it is their civic duty. Yes, I respect that. People give information because they have in malice against somebody. Right? People give information because they are getting self-satisfaction. And then they, they, are, they feel that they are, they are, they are justified. They are justifying some action. That is how people give information. Not everybody come and ring your phone and say, Hey, Tom Stroke do this. And Tom Stroke is that. It's true. And as a person, sending out information to the Jamaican public, you have to dissect every information that you get and ensure that the information that you're passing on to the public, well, to the Jamaican public, is the facts. And nothing short of the facts. Because people lie for various reasons. People claim victims for various reasons. And if you notice in Jamaica, like I've said before, the only victims are the families of dangerous gunmen who have been killed by the police. Because their families walking around and killing people left, right and centre. You know how much mother have a band them belly because of them? And when they are killed by the police, all of a sudden, you need justice? Let me tell you this, and this is the person that I am. If I have a son and he's a gunman and he's killed by the police, I am not even claiming his body. Let me tell you that. I am not. What, what did I say? I am not even claiming his body. Any member of my household that has become a criminal, that is an outcast. I am telling you that. That is how serious I am. You have to clean up your own house first. You can't clean up other people's house and your house dirty. Learn that. Now, let me tell you something. I consider myself a patriot of Jamaica. You know why? I have sent over 200 men to prison. Convicted and sent to prison. I tell you that. I have recovered almost 100 firearms on the street of Jamaica. I'm telling you that. <laughs> and your records to show that. And the thing about it, people, I consider it my duty. I never check to say, oh, to show off and say, oh, I'm doing this, I'm doing that. What I was doing for the people of Jamaica, when I was removing these guns and these gunmen off the street, I was not, I was not looking to be lionized for it. I wish I could have done more because what I was doing, I never considered it enough. I never considered it enough. And the organization did not use me properly either. So when we hear some man come attack, oh, them police, how much victims them create, how much people, family them kill, investigate. Who did these police kill? What were their character and what were they doing? Who was they murdering? How much people them have underneath them belt? How much people three points them took? You see, people, don't be confused. Hold on it up. When I am talking, I am talking to the good law-abiding citizens of Jamaica. Because the good law-abiding citizens in any country will always love the police. And will always know to separate the good police from the bad police. If one police assault you, I did you wrong, that does not mean that you are to hate every police on the planet. Let me tell you something, people. Experience. Like I said, I tell you my story as it affects me, as it affected me then. When I was a young man, I was beaten by a police. People in the community was there demonstrating and blocking the roads in Christiana. Place called Craighead. I was a young boy, probably about 12 year old. And you know, 
I heard that police came on the scene. And I was like, yeah, I want to see police, I want to see soldier. So I run just to see the police and to see the soldier, you know. And the very persons that I went to see, soon as I walked they were standing and looking, they ran, they were chasing the people. I was just looking to see police and soldier. Next thing I know, they were telling me to clear the roadblocks. And I said, I can't clear the roadblocks, officer. This police officer have a big piece of stick. And trust me, he did whoop me ass. Like, a man give me some lick across my back. Maybe about 20 odd lick. For nothing. The man assaulted me. And nobody did nothing. You know what I mean? And after he was done, he said to me, um, go and turn soldier and come take revenge. Yeah. So, don't you think that you're, you're the only persons who, 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 who police have... Who police have um, assaulted or violated. Police violate me too. I join the police department not to take revenge, but to make an effort to make Jamaica a better place, to serve my country, to serve the people of Jamaica. And that was what I did to the best of my ability. As far as I'm concerned, I could have done more. I wanted to do more. It was cut short by my injuries. People, no boy, who never risked their life for a citizen of Jamaica. No blogger, who has never received a gunshot for the citizens of Jamaica. Who has never bled for his country. Who has never taken a criminal off the streets of Jamaica. Can't chat to me. May I tell you that? I serve my country and I serve my country proudly. Man, you one story about me, story that I, I, I placed on the internet. And I dissect my story. Talk about me a criminal. Say what you want to say. You see, I'm that, I'm, I'm that kind of person, you know. I don't care what people want to say about me. You see, in life, people, you have to know yourself. And what you are capable of doing. When people come and talk some things about you, the negativity, don't even look at that. Because you know, who are you? I don't argue with people they say bad things about me. You know why? Because I know who I am. And if more Jamaica had known who they are, they would not be so easily misled by these village lawyers or people coming forward, these false prophets, the Bible call them, who comes with their political agenda and their criminal agendas, but they play like they are good people to draw the people in Jamaica in further sinkhole, in further quicksand. That's why crime can't stop in the Jamaica. Because Jamaicans don't pick and choose who to follow. The thing about Jamaicans, we are bandwagonists. And that is our problem.